stones? You want to read what each of the stones do? No, I know what the stones do, and I know what stone I want to use, like, okay. abstractly. Okay. But so her gonna... character doesn't know, because her character never asks. Yeah, oh, that's fair. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I know what the, I know what stones I want to use, but I can't. Sure. Here's what we're going to Here's what we'll do, since you haven't interacted with Alanon or... Alanon's daughter. Alanon's daughter. What's her dits? What's her dits? I don't <laughs> remember her name, though. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> we were all really sad to, to, that Eleanor wasn't mentoring with us anymore, or helping us anymore. Um, I As part of a free action, you can close your eyes and meditate on that woman's voice you heard, okay. and attempt to gain inspiration as to what uh, elf stones you should use. Okay. That's a free action. What are the other elf stones she has, anyway? She has... I have... Specifically, the one that she wants to try to use is the black one. The black one is a neutralized magic spell. My character would know what that does. True. So I would say, um, I'm going to call out, well, I'll wait till my turn, but I can call out, use the black ones, they neutralize magic. Well, she just gave me the free action to meditate. So So now I know to use the black ones. No, you have to roll to try to see. If you gain inspiration to know which ones to use. Okay, so what do you... So I rolled a 14. It's a 10. It's just okay. a basic. Yeah. Okay. It's a very basic. So you beat it. Check. So I beat it. Yes, you right. beat it. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So you meditate, and the one that's calling out to you is actually your orange ones. Ah, okay. All right. So I've forgotten what they do. So I pull out my orange stones. You don't generally use the black ones because it also fucks with all the other magic users in your party. Okay, mm-hmm. well, good to know. So Dispel I'm, magic, do that. So I pull not out my orange. That yet, but. Not that she knows that, or not maybe that she even cares. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we still have two non-magic users, so... Yeah, doing fine. We, <laughs> I think we spoke... Oh, well, I don't know if that theoretically would all of us are non magic users mm. because it would affect my channeling, but it would not affect my bardic abilities. It would affect his metal burning, but would not affect his ability to hit things with a heavy okay. axe. It, it would affect my air bending. It would affect your air bending. It would not affect your ability to backstab and steal. Okay, so I'm gonna roll to see if I can use my yep. power stones. Yeah. Uh, 17... Uh, Six. Yep. Sure. So, 23. Perfect. Good job. Roll me the 2d12s. Okay, so... What is your... So, 10. Uh, I need 2d12s. Yeah, so you got a 10. I got a 10. You got a 10? Yeah, I rolled really crappy. Oh, I mean, it's, I didn't see you roll. This is lowering the defense, so you just so, made it a lot easier for everyone else to hit her. Yeah. So, you roll 10. Yep. You pull out your orange stone. One, it's a single orange stone. Okay, good to know. Yep. You pull out the orange stone, and you put a palm up, and the orange light shoots at him. Mm-hmm. And he gets hit by it, and he's like, Ugh! What? And he kind of staggers. His AC is dropped by 10. Okay. Which is good because I rolled an 18 and missed him. So. I don't think I can miss him unless I get a 1. What's in this hurt? Alright. <clears throat> For air armor, do I need to actually roll to activate it? Activate it or no, just roll? No, it just automatically rolls your chain. Okay, good. So roll 1d10 plus dex Is at. Is it air armor? Air armor. Yeah, you got air armor. Three. <laughs> my. Nothing. I roll sixty-five. So that is a nine plus nine, so eighteen. Add that to your AC. Uh, that makes Mr. Thief a little bit harder to hit. I was eighteen. Years. Years. Where's my AC? There it is. Okay. I guess it's his turn next. It is. Yes, it'll be a Colin's turn. I want to roll shit. I'm trying to figure out how. Andrew's turn. The power attack. AC is not a Power attack with the ridiculous pewter shit. There we go. Roll a 19. There you go. No, I'm not too loud. Oh, pewter. 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 Oh, pewter.
one. She's, she's 113. Okay. In a general state, this is this is her. She's just a happy person. <laughs> so I basically come back with another thing, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sharon's turn. All right. So that didn't work. So I'm just gonna go to the good old fashioned. Well, it might not be fireballs. I think lightning bolts. I'm hitting him really fucking hard, guys. Just you know. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do lightning bolt. So the numbers on the side, that's how much um, it costs me. Yes. Every time I use it, got it. Out of your 1400, yeah. Yeah, but that, that one spell cost seven. me 200. I thought it was 75. No, not for 24 the 24 does that hit. Yeah. Black ones. Oh, you're right. No. Black ones to wear. Yeah, orange, you're right. I'm gonna need to hunt down some more D10s. Well, we have plenty of D10s in our dice bag. Yep. Okay, let me grab our dice bag for her, right there in front of you. Also, I have a bunch of D10s if you're on. That's a D10. We have the most D10s since we played World of Darkness the most. Well, we played World of Darkness quite a bit. Yeah. That's true, to be fair, we have been playing this particular game longer than we played World of Darkness, but... And I think I'm finally getting the hand of actually have a game. It helps with our... <laughs> That's asking a lot, though, babe. Better be a lightweight, it's cheaper. Fuck. Right. It's cheaper. <laughs> Rather be a lightweight. I know, right? Twenty-five. <laughs> I always think I always think it's funny when people are like trying to make it seem like that's a bad thing. Nope. It's like you're fucking idiots. <laughs> as as somebody who is decidedly not a lightweight and does enjoy being tipsy, it is very problematic. Yeah, it's not cheap. All right, <coughs> Lynn Fear's turn. So she kind of stretches out on the carpet. <sighs> you're so hot. I'm like, hey, girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> As I'm like hitting, <laughs> casually hitting this guy. <laughs> All right, Morgan's turn. All right, do you want me to knock his his? Uh, this is the first round of advantage or uh, uh, escalation. Escalation dice. Right? So you're at one, so you get a plus one to your attack. Yep. Okay, so plus one to the attack. If you get it. So. I yeah. mean, his AC just dropped significantly. So I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Here. I'll use the orange stones one more time. Okay. Uh, 17. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hit. You hit. Four. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> this AC would be nothing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For nine, uh, 16. 16. Okay. Uh, is it negative yet? <laughs> it's not zero. There's no negative. Okay. So it's zero. <laughs> so you literally have to get a one to miss. <laughs> yep. You need to have a you need to roll around the miss. Alright, what's its turn? Well, what's it? You can't miss now, so I mean, you know. <laughs> Whatever you want to do now. <laughs> There's literally nothing you could roll except a one to miss. Okay. And watch me roll a one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. So. <clears throat> You know what? I want to steal from this guy. I'm going to try Thief Strike again. Go here. Go for it. 18. So, <laughs> yeah, that hit. That does. Um, steal his belt. Steal his belt. <laughs> hit half of. So, weapon plus dexterity. So, that's. Four. So, four. Uh, plus nine. Eleven plus I would pickpocket him, and since it's over eighteen, he doesn't realize it. <laughs> well, it's not gonna matter much. Anyway. Oh wait, no, I have to roll a uh, save. I oh, guess. Yeah, that's what you do. How much damage do you did? Did you do? Um. So half of so I rolled a four. So it's like wait, so it's four eight plus nine seventeen half of that. Okay. So nine. Yeah. That was a six. Fifteen? 
Yeah, I'd say it was only ten. Okay. You steal from him. You reach under his robes and you grab. (laughs) 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 You squeeze the dick. But, uh, other than squeezing the dick, you also grab, and when you pull your arm back, you're holding another black disc that's got the yin yang symbol on it. This one is complete. Oh. Hmm. I go, that's interesting. I, I like not even hiding it. I'm like, that's interesting. I wonder For what- fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> You're just taunting him to be an asshole. Well, more of the fear. Nightfear. Huh? Nightfear is oh. too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like plotting into this. Oh, shit. I, I shouldn't have. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't. I don't. In game, so, I can't tell you that. But. Which is better than it just being clipped through. Like, I don't like some more. Can I have some more? Jesus, of course she can. On the other hand, she would probably know that I have it already, but... <laughs> See, probably, right. it's the reason she's so there. So, Dom's probably. turn! <laughs> Maybe he'll hit someone this time. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright. So, at Dom's turn, so he kind of does this little hand wavy thing, and you see this, like, weird light shoot up from his feet, and he regains hit points. Someone's hit him kind of hard. <laughs> He's not going to gain that many. <laughs> Unless it's a really fucking powerful spell. If not, I'll just keep hitting him. So that's one round off of that. I got four. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. You need to put the house back on this. Okay. Andrew's turn. Hit him. <laughs> Make sure you get him on. There you go. It depends on what it's made out of. How big it is. Does he react to me holding doing that? Doesn't care? Which is for yeah. custom ladies, actually. Uh, 108 damage. Oh, okay. fun to nice. Use to make a- Dodge this! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> you really can't sidestep it. No, get on. They're also just going to play with it. That's weird stuff. Because they got elements. They have like robots and cookies. But when you hit him this time, instead of sinking into his skin and causing him to bleed, you feel some resistance that you get. It still hurts. And he still staggers. But you don't touch his skin. Ooh, that's cool. Let's do it again. <laughs> turn, turn. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. That doesn't make me seem like a nerd, does it? Not that there's anything viral. We're all playing tabletop games. <laughs> uh, magic missile. Oh, oh, was it magic missile? Yeah, magic missile. I thought yeah. he was saying, okay. He said also lightning bolt to a movie that they haven't seen. So. Oh. Oh, no, no, I think I know what about Yeah. 22, well, yeah, you're going to hit, babe. He's the, got an AC of zero. Is that one has little balls? And sure it's saying that. lightning bolt as it does? No, 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 there's a, there's a movie called The Gamers, and there's there's the second one called The Darkness, The Dorkness Rising. One of those two I've seen. I think The Dorkness. Did you guys okay. see The Night's Badass? What? Yes. Yeah. Oh, maybe that one. That's that, that, that one. That one. Because Peter Dick is... Peter Dick is there. He's like, no, no. The, the game Summer was, Glau and somebody else that we really love. I don't remember. The Jason guy from True Blood. Okay. Jason from True Blood. I forget what his actual actor name is. Um, but the, the Toy yeah. Gamers is a local movie company, or a local production company, I should say. We actually met one of the people. And we, nice. We've met a couple of them. Oh, oh, I've met a couple of people. She's not one of the people. She's not named. We've met one people. in the wild. Yeah, we met, <laughs> yeah just at random. At a, at a gaming table. Nice. And I almost was so nervous I couldn't talk to the dude. <laughs> because he's like one of my favorite characters on the thing, which is part of the problem, because he's also the GM. So it makes me excited, right? Yeah. Even though he's playing a part, it's still fun. Uh, but no, so one of the dudes plays a sorceress. A dude plays a sorceress. And so they always gender swap the two actors, because there's an actress who plays the sorceress, and then there's him who also dresses as the sorceress and plays the sorceress, yeah. which is yeah. hilarious in and of itself. It's generally when he remembers the gender of his character versus him. Yes. So he will be up in the dress, like, flirting with a chick and be like, remember you're a girl? He's like, right. 
and then they swap actors. <laughs> it is hilarious. It is fucking hilarious. We are going to have to show you two that movie, okay. because it's actually hilarious. Uh, and there's a third one called The Hands of Fate, which is also just as hilarious. But uh, that's later, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you're now our new friend, Andrew. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> um, how much damage did you do, Ben? 20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Reddit. Reddit. Yeah. yeah. So I posted on Reddit. The room. This is the tangent because I'm getting drunk. That's a problem. Yeah, well, I know. No, it, it's not as tangential as when I was uh, would want to talk about the thought of Dream the Baby, which we won't do right now because <laughs> we're on track. We posted online to find a new player. Cool. So yeah. that was and he weird. is the one who answered, and he was adorable when you met him. And uh, uh, to not only adorable, he's also a giant nerd too. Uh, job and career opportunities in general. It's all for tech developers. So yeah, awesome dude. Then when we met him, he seemed like he would like our play style, and he knew Lord, uh, Wheel of Time and enjoyed it, which was a big plus for her. <laughs> and he enjoyed Mistborn. Mistborn, oh, yeah, Mistborn another big right. plus. Yeah. So and then he had a huge collection of books on this yeah, on this nerd thing, which is yeah. really awesome. So <laughs> yep. So hello nerd. Hello nerd. Yeah, we're all here. Hooray, new friend. <laughs> Hooray, new friends. All right, Lanfear's turn. Lanfear. Stands up and is like, God damn it, guys. But she points her finger, and you see this white light shoot just from the like this big. And it hits a gob right in the fucking face and goes right through his face. Nice. He now has a hole burned in his forehead. Hey, I was hitting that. <laughs> okay, I'll still hit it. Did I see the weave or did I not catch it? Oh, yeah, you saw that. Okay. You you were told in the White Tower that weave is forbidden. If you ever do it, you will be killed on sight. But she just used it. Yes. Well, of course she, she just not. used it. <laughs> the reason that she just used the forbidden it. magic is because she is a forsaken. <laughs> I, I'm not doing this in character zone. So I mean, yeah, I literally know nothing about but, forbidden magic, so I was yeah, no, like, that's awesome. That's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> is he so dead now? Don't, no. He has a hole burned through his head, and he is still active and fighting. How? Morgan's turn. <laughs> That's All what right. I'm saying out loud, by the way. I'm like, how? <laughs> no, you would know what a lich is. Yeah, you would know exactly what a lich is. But I don't... Why, like, you? Like, do oh, I think he's a lich at the moment? <laughs> well, yes, that's the first thing that pops in your head. All right. He has a hole burned through his skull, which means he's not alive. An which 18. means he's a fucking lich. An 18 doesn't hit him. Yeah, of course it does. Oh, okay. He has an AC of zero. Okay. You burn shit at his AC. <laughs> Bringing a hole through his head probably didn't increase his AC. <laughs> yeah, no, that probably didn't increase his AC. There's a giant hole you missed now. <laughs> <And> he's trying <laughs> to... Don't shoot the fireball through the hole, guys. Yeah. It's the size of a finger. That's a tiny fireball. <laughs> Nothing bigger. I want you to do it just if you can. Just to see. <laughs> what are you attacking with, dear? Hold on. Math. Okay. My, uh... Sort of, uh... Shannara? Yeah. Okay. 75. 75. You did 75 damage? Yeah. Nice. It's a strong sword. It is. I wonder if this... Alright, what's in this turn? Like I said, don't worry. I compensate on this battle for everyone's skill set. <laughs> It's like, as much as I want to play with throwing daggers and using metal bending to augment it, um, it's not going to do quite enough damage for this guy, so I'll save that for some mooks later, where I can um, play around. experiment. <laughs> yes. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to use Rock Crush. Okay. So I'm going to like bring like these cubic pillars of rock coming in on all sides from the ceiling and from the ground. So never okay. Uh, the only tiny problem with that is that you can do that, but you're going to be at the slight disadvantage because the castle is fortified, mm. so it's going to be very hard for you to bend. You can still bend the rock, but you're going to have to go against the AC of the rock, so you're going to need to roll me at a minimum of 15 to bend the rock. Okay. You can still do it, and you're going to have to, <coughs> but you got to fight against the castle walls. Okay. So I guess what I'm doing is I'm tearing out like two pillars and having them 
Yes. Okay. That is a 17. There you go. Very nice. And then, yeah, so whatever. You're going to hit him no matter what because yeah. he's got an AC of zero. So roll me damage. This was against the AC of the fucking walls. Because. Damn it. So I'm guessing he's not engaged with me right now. No, so. he's not engaged with you right now. Plus two damage. <laughs> That's sneak attack. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got to do it. That's right. You got to do it. Uh, that is not the right dice. Uh. Something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be funny if it works. Sixteen. So yeah, that works. Cancel. Sorry. No, you're going to Math is hard, isn't it? Math is hard. Six. Math is hard. Well, you have multiple pencils on the table too. Twenty-two. Twelve, fifteen, twenty-three, 